Welcome back. You too can be a rock star. World record breaking auction house to the stars. Julian's Auctions is gearing up for the highly anticipated 2016 Music Icons auction event. It's set to take place tomorrow at the Hard Rock Cafe in New York. Hundreds of pieces of iconic rock and roll memorabilia will go under the hammer. Joining us right now with some of the items that are up for auction is Julian's Auctions Executive Director, Martin Nolan. Martin, good to see you again. Good to be Thank here. Thank you so much for joining us. You brought some hot stuff today. This is uh, amazing. First off, give me the overall look at what's going to happen and, and what kind of interest you're seeing for the auction for this kind of memorabilia tomorrow. It's huge. Yeah. Over 400 items going on the auction block at the Hard Rock Cafe tomorrow or on JuliansLive.com. All of the major icons represented. Amazing lineup here. This is just a, so, a small sampling of what's going on the auction all block. Right, tell me about this guitar first This of is all. Elvis Presley's most important wow. guitar. Wow. Used in the Aloha Tour in 19, uh, a performance in 1983. One billion people watched it by satellite TV. Customized for, by his father for Elvis in black to represent his uh, black karate belt. Oh my God! So I love estimate that one. 200 to 300,000 Elvis Presley engraved in here. Oh he, wow! It's got Elvis Presley engraved in there. That's cool. And Elvis gave it to a 21-year-old Mike Harris in Asheville, North Carolina, in 1975. Right. He said, "Here, this might be worth something some, one day." <laughs> and Mike yeah. Harris is now selling it. Estimated 200 to 300,000. 200 to 300,000. What about this guitar? This is the most important item in the entire auction. This is Stevie Ray Vaughan's guitar. Wow. This is his first guitar. It's a 1951 Fender Broadcaster. Just a beautiful... In fact, um, it was Jimmy Vaughan played it first, the brother, and then he gave it to Stevie Ray when he was about 15 years of age. So this is how, how old? This guitar, right? 1951. Okay, 51. And uh, Jimmy the Vaughn owned it and he carved Jimbo in the back of it there. Love it. That. And then Stevie Ray, not to be outdone by his older brother, he c carved his name in here. Cool. Stevie Ray Vaughn. So that's Joe, a great piece. What's this going to be? 400 to 600,000. 4 to 6. It's a very iconic, very highly sought after guitar. Last November we sold John Lennon's guitar for 2.4 million, which wow. was a world record. That is so this awesome. seems cheap, right? You got an uh, Elvis Presley <laughs> jacket back there. Yes, a great jacket, circa 1974, made by a company, East West Instruments in San Francisco. Estimated 40 to 60,000. Great photographs of Elvis Presley wearing this, and it comes with a letter of authenticity from Ginger Alden, who Ooh. lived at Graceland at the time. So when people buy this, they're basically putting it like on display in their house. They're not, they're not going to wear that jacket. They're going <laughs> to they, ruin it. If they pay 40 to 60,000 for it, they can certainly do what they like. They can do whatever they want. But really, these are investments as well. These are serious yeah. money. These are iconic, intangible assets. People can take them home, love them, enjoy them, and then sell them in years to come. Do we have the glove? Aha. Uh -huh. Let's talk about we this. Do. I just treated this out. This is Michael Jackson's glove when he did the moonwalk. Well, it's from the Moonwalker yeah. movie, 1988. It's made by Bill Whitney. Can I put it on? You can put it on. I already did, actually, and I tweeted a picture of myself. Yeah, but now Sorry. the whole world sees it. Now the money honey wears Michael Jackson's glove. The value just went up. We, we, now beat it. Now beat it. I wish I could moonwalk, but I can't. Now what will this go for? We could. Well, we estimated 10 to 20 thousand, but we sold the Michael Jackson glove for 420 thousand. So 10 to 20, and now that you've worn it, definitely the value has gone this up. This is uh, what, what are these jewels on here? It's Swarovski. It's Lock Rose, Lock Rose and Crystal, actually. Oh. It's made to represent the night sky. Okay. Yeah, but I like you it. know, but fantastic and great images of Michael with a glove symbol. And you well. sit, and you're sitting it on this jacket. Which on is a Freddie fine Mercury, piece. which is a really marquee piece, it's on the cover of our of our auction catalog for the auction tomorrow, and it's it's the Rock Soldier, and it's designed by Diane Mosley, who also designed the David Bowie outfit that you see here in the background, um, Magic Tour 1986. Yeah. Freddie's last tour, live at Wembley as well. So this, we estimate 60 to 80,000. Again, that's conservative that because awesome. Freddie Mercury is highly sought after. Now, I know you have lyrics. I actually purchased the actual original lyrics of Joy Ramone that he wrote the song about me, and I have it on my wall. But you say that that's could be worth something. That is worth money and in fact if you look at the lyrics we have here from John Lennon uh, being for the benefit of Mr. Kite from the Sgt. Pepper album 1967 we estimate this 300 to 500 thousand. Wow. Lyrics by Lennon has sold in upwards of a million dollars so again this is a great piece and notes on the back as well and I think you said yeah. that your one also has notations oh, from yeah. Joy. Oh it's, yeah it's his scribble when he was coming out with the, with the lines of. And little the... love notes because we know he loved Jim Maria as uh, we all do. He was such a great <laughs> Investor. RIP Joey Ramon. Martin, great stuff. I know these are from Madonna. These yes, are. desperately seeking um, Susan. And, this and that jacket. jacket, jacket okay. again, 1985, Orion Pictures. Love it. Really put Madonna on the map. Good luck with the auction tomorrow. Thank you so much. Martin, good to see you. Final